This is Body, Brain, and Pain. I'm Erin Babineau. And I'm Michelle Steggy. We are two doctors of physical therapy and orthopedic specialists here to have an approachable and courageous conversation about pain and our bodies that will be forever changing and aging. This podcast is for everyone, not just medical providers. The better you understand pain, the more control you gain. Welcome back, everyone. Erin and I are here to discuss a little bit more about how physical therapy fits into this conversation about pain. So if you've listened to our first episode, you have a little bit better understanding of what pain is. So we just want to talk about where we fit into that puzzle. So we know pain is complex. There's so many different things that are influencing this output message from our brain. We're going to dive into a lot of these different topics in the future, but we're talking about your brain, your body, your nervous system, that pain alarm system that we discussed. Sleep, stress, <laughs> nutrition. Yes. Yep. Um, consistency of movement, how you move, uh, the list is endless. And we, we recognize is, yes. that there's so many parts of your anatomy and we appreciate it, but it's just, it's complex. So, yep. So Erin, why don't you start and get us into where physical therapy fits into this conversation? Phys as physical therapists, I often tell my patients that we are your tour guide through your body and sometimes through the healthcare system as well. But like yep. we just said in our first episode, pain is that output message and it's information to your body. So we use pain and physical therapy all the time to be curious about your body and mm -hmm. change certain things or build up certain muscles or get movement in certain joints or muscles as well to see if we can create change. So I often say to patients, you know, my job is that we can objectively look at your body and give you a specific plan that gets you reflective about all these factors that we're going to talk about in more detail um, that influence your pain cycle. I will say a lot that the more information you gain, the more control you have. And so the best physical yep. therapy is body awareness because honestly, a lot of this stuff, stuff just blows, but um, pain is normal. It's not super yeah, exciting. It's not, not exciting. <laughs> pain is normal. It's part of our normal human experience, um, but there's so many tools to help with it when we want this mm -hmm. to start creating these conversations of how. So yeah. yeah. It's funny. I always, a lot of times when I'm working with someone, because I feel like I'm constantly asking them questions yeah. uh, because I want to know what they're feeling. I want to know, you know, what, what they feel and, and what they're aware of while they're doing something. And that's the reason. Yeah. And a lot of times I'll say, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going to ask a lot of questions. I know it's kind of annoying, but, but there is a purpose yeah. behind it. It's that body awareness. It's that check-in. Yep. I always say PT is just smart strength and mobility and check-ins with your body. That's all physical therapy mm -hmm. is. And the point of why we're kind of obnoxious in your ear all the time is so that we help you <laughs> get that control back and yep. get that awareness back so you can start, you know, training your body in a therapeutic way. Um, because pain's inhibitory too. We talk a ton about that. So, you know, mm -hmm. you don't decide to start moving differently. It's just kind of what happens. And so right. we'll talk more about that later. But Michelle, can you yes. give me one common patient example right now in the clinic that you've seen, and I know both of us have seen many a time? Yes. Yes. And and it's it's really interesting because there's a very common trend since we've been back in the clinic at the end of April. We went back into the clinic and and there's been a very common trend with a lot of the people that we've seen and that trend is that a lot of their symptoms have started with this change that's occurred during the pandemic. So whether it's that they are now working from home and they have a totally different desk set up or their gym closed and, and they had to find new ways to exercise, stress levels have changed, sleep quality, sleep cycles have changed. There's all of these things that have changed. And, and, 
all of these people that we're seeing, they're not coming in for the same thing. So it's not that, you know, X caused Y, but it's that they're having these specific symptoms and we can probably relate it to this drastic change in their typical routine. Right. And that alarm system is now heightened. It's been five, six months since, you know, the global pandemic and work from home orders and have occurred. And there's people starting to feel it. Yep. And that is completely normal. And it's annoying, but it's exactly. totally normal. So Right. And and I've been telling a lot of these people too, you haven't damaged something. You sitting, you know, f- during this time and and now having some neck pain doesn't mean that you've damaged something in your neck. This is your body's alarm system telling you that you have to change something. Maybe you have to get up from your desk more frequently. Maybe you have to be a little bit more aware of your positioning or, or change something with your desk setup that makes things more comfortable. Yeah, And that's and that's what we do in PT is, is we look at the situation that you're in and what factors might be contributing to the symptoms that you're having or, or what factors can we change that can make you feel more comfortable and continue on with the activities that you're doing. Yeah, and give you that control back. I mean, I think that it's back yep. to that awareness. So as PTs, we have our own physical therapist because it's hard to objectively look at your body. And that is our job right. is like reflecting on your routine and helping you stay curious about that so that you can, you know, change how your posture is or get up and move every 30 to 60 minutes Hopefully everyone's Mm -hmm. doing that. Um, (laughs) Yes. um, Yes, And then notice that check-in. Like, how does your body feel after that? Because I think we read a lot online as well right now with wellness being kicked into supercharge, especially with our world being flipped upside down. Um, But if we don't have that awareness, it's really hard to see changes as well. Yep. So we're chirping in your ear all the time about pain neuroscience. (laughs) check-ins mm-hmm. uh, and and feeling changes because that's the biggest thing like do you mm-hmm. use your foam roller and your neck pain goes away well that's a big deal you need to tell your brain that mm-hmm. <laughs> and take advantage yeah. of that and, too mm-hmm. use that give yourself a pat on the back because that's part of this yep um Aaron, I want you to talk about another another example which then kind of leads into another good way to help people understand physical therapy's role in pain. Yeah. So another thing we're seeing, and and it is a little bit with people's world being flipped upside down right now, but, um, you know, we're seeing a lot of people who've had some imaging done, and this is a whole other podcast in itself, but they're finding some normal age-related changes on an image um, because they've maybe had some knee pain and then they are get a diagnosis of some mild osteoarthritis or something like that, which is pain in the joint that we, again, accept, acknowledge, respect. Um, but we then reflect on their routine. And the knee pain started when they started a new workout class or a new YouTube video or whatever that event was. So, mm-hmm. You know, I I get people, I really empathize with them because it is not fun to see our normal wrinkles that we're having internally. That's what we call them in the physical therapy world. (laughs) We're all getting wrinkles. We're getting them internally as well. And it's not fun to see that. I'm not downplaying that. But your pain happened when these external things that you do have control over changed. So I recognize in physical therapy, I can't change the, again, normal wrinkles happening in that joint, but we can change your awareness around it, what exercises are helpful, what muscles we need to get built up, where do we need to get more movement in the joint, and and it, essentially, I compare your body a lot like a computer system. So our wonderful mentor, Maggie Hengem, gave us this analogy, which we love, but your body is built like this computer system. You have your hardware which is your muscle or your, sorry, just your skeletal system and kind of what we pick up in some of those imaging. And then we have your software, which is what I just described, those muscles, um, how your joint moves, how you move throughout your day, your nervous system, that pain alarm system. And, and that's what physical therapy is addressing is how do we get your software rewired so that that hardware doesn't matter as much. 
because Mm -hmm. when you started feeling your pain was not, it was more of a software issue because, you know, especially osteoarthritis, we know that that's happening just like wrinkles. They don't just show up randomly one day. It happens over time. Yep, exactly. And I think that's really helpful and, and makes that pain a lot less threatening for people too, when they know that it's, it's not necessarily this structural change that's causing their symptoms. Yeah. And that's kind of what we're saying throughout our, I mean, our first episode and our goal of this podcast Mm -hmm. is we have such a different model of care right now where there's so much research to back it. You know, we recognize the anatomy of some of these things we find and we know it's important. We know there's receptors Mm -hmm. in our joints and our muscles and things that causes pain response, but that pain is also influenced by all these other things that we will dive really deep into. So um, another example I give is uh, we do see a lot of people who have to do a lot of manual work throughout their day, um, a ton. And I get a response a lot from patients where they're like, oh, yeah, that's right. That makes sense. They're, people are hard on their body when they're doing, you know, if they're a massage therapist or a physical therapist or a construction worker. Yeah. Um, and I look at them and I go, yeah, but how you move every day is the same thing. <laughs> right. That exactly. repetitive movement matters. So having that awareness mm-hmm. and moving with intention is so important. We talk a ton about that. So. hmm and that's where those those small changes and and building that awareness can really make a difference in how you feel. Yeah, definitely. I think the biggest awesome. thing is, you know, you're having it hopefully w- with a physical therapist that shows you how strong and amazing your body is because a lot of this stuff is not fun, but there's a lot of hope because most of yeah. these things and kind of our goal, you know, you do have control over. It does take more work. It does take some mindfulness and, and hard work. I liken physical therapy a lot of times to mental health therapy at times where it's, it's hard before it gets better. And yeah, and that's, it's work, it's work. but, um, yep. you know, physical therapy is body, body knowledge for life. And when we can change our attitude around pain and that you have that information and knowledge to help yourself, it's totally manageable. And our bodies mm-hmm. are pretty amazing. Awesome. I think that's the perfect place to end. That was our synopsis of how physical therapy fits into the management of pain. It isn't sexy, but it's so cool to see how an individualized plan can influence your experience and help you take back the control. Thanks for listening, and we hope you will stay tuned for more episodes. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone.